Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you so much for watching this video. Today I've got a very interesting Photoshop tutorial for you guys and I've been posting on my Twitter and Facebook quite recently uh, on what tutorials you guys want to see and probably the most requested one was actually a Photoshop tutorial. So what better way to respond to that than actually bring out a Photoshop tutorial. It's been a while since I've actually created one so perfect opportunity really. And so literally here is what you can see is we're going to be creating I call the text muscle effects. Don't ask why. I wanted something with FX on the end and the kind of you know, the dark color with the orange uh, muscle kind of scheme, hard, big man, you know, that kind of lot. Um, so it means nothing, but this is what we're going to be creating. So it's great for a poster or a just a general identity. Uh, but without further ado, we'll get started. So I'm just going to make uh, a new file. I'm going to have a 1920 by 1080 uh, background color white. It doesn't really matter about that for now. We'll just double click on it and unlock and we're just going to fill it in with a black to start with like so and so we're going to type in our text uh, when the text tool decides to load there we go <laughs> and I'm just going to type in muscle uh, FX uh, like so I'm going to drag it out muscle FX there we go I'm going to increase it to 72 for now I'm going to change the font the font I'm just going to use is Arial Black Obviously, if you have your own font, uh, it may create something a little bit better, uh, but it gives a nice kind of strong look uh, to the feel. So I'm just going to go Control T, and I'm just going to increase the size of it a little bit, like so. I'm going to make it quite close together, this text, so if you don't have the character thing there, just go to View, and make sure the character is selected, and there it is there. And I bring up this Properties. So you see on this A to V width ways, it's got on 100. So I bring it down to zero. Yeah, that'll be standard. Uh, I'm gonna make it maybe minus 50 uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, like so. And again, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, just so it fills up a lot of the page, roughly in the middle. In fact, a little bit smaller than that. Keep it tasteful, not too in your face. There we go, that'll do, like so. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to right click and rasterize the layer. Like so, I'm going to cut off the top bit. So as you see here, the white is, is white. Uh, we're actually going to cut this off and make it in a new layer. So to do this, I'm just going to get the rectangle marquee tool. And where you want the white to start, you're going to go down to that point. So the layer of the text that is selected, I want to be in white. So that's all good. And I'm just going to go to edit and I'm going to cut. And I'm going to control V and I'll just paste it in a new layer so you could have two different layer styles on, on, on them too like so and simple task of matching it up again I'm going to quit Skype uh, quickly for you guys so you don't get annoying noises um, just go to muscle effects and gradient overlay and let's have a look at the colour scheme that we actually used use some dark greys so it's a lighter grey at the bottom with a darker in the middle that goes to white um, I'm not actually too keen on this one, I, I created it once before and it looked a bit better than this. Um, but nevertheless, hopefully we can create something, uh, again, better than that uh, today. So we're just going to make a lighter grey at the bottom. It may be trial and error, I don't have the exact colours sorted out. And I'll make a dark grey charcoal type of colour. And we'll just match it here. And we only need the two because we've cut the top layer. And I just want them pretty much to be together like so. And I want the bottom to be quite big. Uh, yeah. You know, I think that's sorted. I'm going to make the bottom one a little bit darker, though. Like, like so. A little bit darker. There we go. Trial and error. Uh, whatever whatever suits you, really, I suppose. Uh, so I'm just going to make this 52 and that 51. So they're right next to each other, so it's kind of a hard cut. Uh, so there's not much gradient. And that's looking good. We're also, while we're there, we're also going to add a bevel and a boss. I'm going to change the gloss contour uh, to this one down here. I believe it is called the ring double. I'm going to lower down the black completely, uh, the shadow mode, and keep the highlight mode on the white. Obviously, you can change change the angle as you wish, like so, to whatever you think looks good. Um, I'm not too fussed. That that that'll, that that'll do the job for me. And you can change the, the the kind of the opacity of the of the highlights right there. I'll leave it on about. Between 50 and 75, I think we'll do the. We'll look half decent, and that is okay for now. Uh, we're going to edit the top part of the text now, so we're just going to go to Outer Glow, 
And I'm going to make it glow as if it's literally like a neon white. Can you get neon white? Uh, like a luminosity white, like so. And you see how it's like easy, so it glows around the text as opposed that's why we cut it. Uh, so you get the glow all the way around as opposed to. Uh, if, if, if I completely messed up there. Uh, so the glow goes around just the top of the text, which is in white and not the bottom grey and the black or the charcoal, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that's looking good, obviously you can have that as you wish, uh, but initially we've got some really nice vibrant metallic type of field text. So the first thing we're going to do is in fact on the muscle effects at the bottom one, we're going to add an inner shadow. I'm going to change the blend mode to normal and the colour to white. And I'm going to untick global light, I'm going to tick 90, in fact now I'm going to tick uh, minus 90. And I'm going to increase the size, like so, just to check that it's in the right angle. I want it to come from the bottom. Uh, the bottom of the text going up. So distance, to create some distance there like so. Uh, I'll lower the choke just a little bit and uh, maybe just increase the size to about two, uh, four, three. There we go. <laughs> just try and error with the text there. I'll maybe lower the opacity down just a bit as well, maybe to about 50 or 40. 40 looks good. Okay. So there we've got some nice text. You can kind of get the idea of the light shining on it which is looking quite good. Uh, in fact, what I'm also going to do, I'm going to make a gradient on the bottom and I'll make it a radial gradient and reverse and I'm going to make it dark grey in the middle with black on the outside. So I'm just going to get a dark grey here and I'm going to increase the size scale as well and I'm going to change the angle to zero so that just also spreads out just like a little bit more. And there we go. And that's looking good for now. Uh, let's have a look what else we've got to create. We've got to create uh, the, the text at the bottom, which again is quite easy. Uh, but we'll do that now. In fact, no, we'll create a drop shadow on this text. Uh, just to give it a bit more depth. Make it feel that it's on something. There we go. That looks good. And so we'll make the next further text. And I can't even remember what I typed. I typed in some cheese here. For the ultimate challenge with a power twist. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to stick with that for the ultimate challenge with our power twist there we go lower the font size again to whatever suits you line it up just a bit and I'll see I'll see what looks good they no uh, 48 that's a bit too big about 40 40 in fact no well first I'm going to do I'm going to change the AV width weight again because on minus 50 from what we did for the tile I'm going to make it 50 like positive 50, I didn't even spell it right, power, there we go. So it's quite separated out, in fact I might make it a little bit more, I'm going to make it 100. Why not? Uh, but you see I want it to line up with the end of the muscle uh, effects, so I'm just going to lower the size down just a little bit. 36 maybe, uh, maybe 34 would have the job. No, 35. Uh, that'll do, that'll do, that'll do, don't care. You notice how I'm changing everything in this tutorial. I'm not sure uh, on any of the other skins to use all the numbers. Yeah, but we'll just lower that down a little bit. And while we're there, we'll rasterize the layer, like so. And we're going to do exactly the same what we did for muscle effects. I'm going to highlight ultimate. And we're going to go to edit and cut. And I'm going to paste it back in. And that's going to be in another layer, so you can have two different layer styles uh, to, the, to the actual word. Line that back is where it was, and I'm just going to repeat that process uh, for the power word as well. So I'm just going to edit and cut that and paste, like so. And I'm going to line it up again. So we've got power, I think, yeah, and uh, ultimate, like so. I didn't need to spell that right, but the, you can, as long as you can distinguish what layer is what. That uh, makes it a lot easier, especially when you come back to it in a later stage. So the ultimate power twist, I'm just going to, because the colour's in white, I'm going to add a gradient overlay, which is black at the bottom. But I'm just going to lower the opacity down to about 50%. And this will basically mean the, gray, the black turns into grey. Saves so you actually going into the gradient editor. Uh, maybe a little bit more, maybe 30. That'll do. And so on the power, we're just going to add an orange colour. So I'll add a gradient overlay. In fact, now I'll just add a colour. Keep it standard. And obviously it's going to be an orange I want it to be quite a dark, rich, powerful orange. There we go. And have an outer glow as well. And I'll use uh, dark orange again, like so. 
increase the size there we go that's looking okay and so it's going to copy this layer style over to the ultimate uh, the word ultimate and paste like so and that's looking good we've got the kind of uh, tagline uh, going on there and the general identity is done however it's a bit standard it's a bit kind of uh, as it is it's a bit plain so what we did to kind of liven up is I just added some some triangles there and the way I actually did this is I went about doing it accurately as opposed to anything else so I went into the auto shapes well custom shape tool and the shapes up here and I found an arrow and I just drew out any out arrow hold shift to keep it in proportion for now obviously you can use the pen tool for this however it won't be a hundred percent accurate which is what I want especially just say you're doing this for a logo or whatever that could be blown up to a, a high scale um, it, it won't look that good if it's out out of proportion and it's slanted so that's how I did that and obviously rasterized that layer by right in fact no it's already rasterized isn't it stupid me so I'm just gonna cut off the end in fact I'll make a color overlay in red for now just so you can see it because uh, you can't really see the black on the black so it's gonna get zoom in tool zoom in just so you can see exactly what's going on and I'm gonna get cut off this excess rectangle here and make sure I line it up properly here like so and there we go so we've got a nice straight uh, kind of triangle and what I did now is I go control T and I just stretched it out like so so it's pretty much gonna stay in proportion so you basically you just want to get the proportion out a little bit more stretch it out and go line it up and then you can change the scale later I think it's quite a bit big so we'll scale it down like so quite a bit I'm gonna stretch it a little bit more there we go nice looking okay okay would be a word for it yeah and so we're gonna have the uh, standard orange color overlay again so we'll take off the color overlay apologies for that uh, I'm gonna go to the gradient uh, we're gonna tick this orange um, and yellow kind of default one here and I'm going to change the orange to a little bit the yellow to a little bit dark color like an orange like so maybe even make an inner shadow put the blend mode to overlay just so it gives a highlight effect and I'm going to make the color white maybe bring in the size just a little bit and they're good just so it creates a little bit of diffusion around there so it's not a bog standard uh, just, just uh, gradient as you will so that's looking okay uh, we're going to duplicate that layer and we're going to drag it out. In fact, I want that to be on the behind. So we'll drag that below the original. So the one uh, under the top layer, the top layer should be the one at the front and the one behind it should be the one at the back. And we'll lower this opacity to about 60. And then we'll duplicate it, go to the layer below, drag it out. I'm just using the arrow key so you keep it in proportion. Obviously, you can actually use, uh, you can just hold shift, but. I'm quite lazy when it comes to this kind of thing, so it saves kind of moving it with the mouse, even though in fact it does take a bit of a longer time. But anyway, I'm going to change this one to about, f I'm going to change it to 30. In fact, where's that gone? Whoa. Control Z, what's, there we go. I lost it for a second. So I change this one to 30. Duplicate it again, go to the bottom one, drag it out. I'm just going to make this one uh, 10 percent opacity like so so I fit on screen uh, zoom out just a little bit more to get a more a better angle and there we go we've got the nice kind of logo identity I'm gonna lower all of this text in fact for the to put in a bar so lower it down by using the arrow keys again and I'm just going to add in a rectangle on a new layer draw it in zoom in if you want to line it up like so, and I'm going to go to gradient overlay, uh, change the white to a relatively light grey, medium grey, and the black to a dark charcoal grey, maybe just enough so you can see it, drag one into 49% as you see in the location at the bottom, and the other one into 50%, there we go, in fact I'm going to lighten the colour on the dark grey just a little bit, just so you can kind of see it. There we go, and you can maybe even add an outer glow of 
black as well. There we have it. Okay, and okay. And maybe drag it down a little bit to keep it in the middle. But there we have it, we've got a Muscle FX logo. One thing that you maybe could do is, I'm gonna add some scan lines in. If you want to create scan lines, you can just search YouTube how to create scan lines. There's loads of tutorials on it. I'm gonna make the background color uh, really dark gray, edging towards black. And I'm gonna make a new layer. You go to the, go to the brush tool. Make sure caps lock is turned off so you can actually see the brush. Uh, if you just got this little icon, it's obviously you've got caps lock on. So just turn it off and you'll see the brush. Change the color to white. And I'm just going to plot a dot in the middle, like so. In fact, I'm going to make it more so in the middle. There we go. And I'm just going to lower the opacity down to about 20%. Yeah, about, about 20% would do. And maybe go to uh, double click on to the layer styles. I'm just going to go to pattern overlay. And I've got all these scan line patterns here. So you can change the sizes. Uh, some are obviously bigger than others. Uh, so you want to be able to stand out. Uh, what looks good? What looks good? Uh, that looks alright. And we'll stick with that. And that just creates another layer to it. I feel it looks really good. I feel this background could be used for a banner or just a general poster that you're using or an icon or whatever. Uh, but hopefully you picked up a lot of techniques to use in this tutorial. Uh, for example, just general shortcuts on how to do things. Uh, like the arrows and the top of the text or whatever uh, but anyway that's all from me guys I've been Connor with Chrome Designs thank you so much for watching this video please remember to like, comment and subscribe if this helped you in any way at all um, if you didn't I do apologise maybe in the next tutorial we'd never know uh, but to find that out you'd have to subscribe so uh, it's a win win situation for some of us uh, but anyway I'll head off there thank you so much for watching this video I'll see you guys soon bye